I talked to John Idol, the CEO of the new company, which is named Capri, after the island, obviously going for more of a luxury flair there. And he said what stands out and what's really exciting is that we built a luxury group in a year. On top of this Versace transaction to today, remember last year they bought Jimmy Choo for $1.2 billion. He called Versace very underdeveloped. She, as in Donatella Versace, who will remain creative control for this company, is very much like Michael, the founder of Michael Kors. This is her singular passion. We did talk about the multiple. I referenced the stock price yesterday. He said, if you look at it, it's at the luxury goods multiple. It will be accretive next year. And the company did provide some information on that front, including the fact, which I think surprised a lot of people, that Versace is profitable. Not, not very, but it is profitable. He said their comp store sales are very strong right now. And he said, just look at what we've done to Jimmy Choo, which was the acquisition last year. Things are going better than anticipated. And Idol says Choo shows we are picking the right brands and building the proper way. He also said we have a clear understanding of luxury. This is an acquisition at a time where we do not need to fix the company, addressing some of the concerns that were also out there on Wall Street that Versace was in need of a turnaround. But that does not mean that there's not a lot of work to be done. And in fact, they have to build an e-commerce business for Versace. A lot of these European fashion houses just have not been there. So he sees that as an opportunity. And he said the big growth opportunity is in accessories and in shoes. He wants to increase that as a portion of overall revenue. They're building the next LVMH. It remains to be seen whether an American company can do that. Well, what's happened in apparel is amazing. When you look at uh, Tapestry and Kate Spade, now Coors and uh, this, and not their only deal either, right? Right. So they've had, so now they have three. They have Chew, they have Versace, and they have Coors. And we should note, you know, there was some criticism yesterday that Coors was more of an affordable price point when you talk about the, the product lineup. But Coors actually has a luxury line as well, where they have dresses that are $500 to $2,000. So they do have some experience with luxury. And Coors is positioning itself, or Capri is positioning itself now, as the luxury version of the European conglomerate LVMH and Caring versus Tapestry, which is a little bit lower price point because their brands are now Stuart Weitzman, Coach, of course, the namesake brand, and uh, Kate, Kate Spade. Spade. Jim, you got that. Even as Sarah was doing her report, you got Sonic being taken out at 43 and a half in all, cash. All cash, yep, 19% yeah, premium to the what? close on Monday. <laughs> Look, these are big, and I totally agree with with Sarah in terms of the house of brands, LVMH. I also think that PVH, which started this big move, now not not as much luxury, is a house of brands that worked when they were able to get Calvin Klein under the same roof as Tommy Hilfiger. 